Hey guys, it's Rusty, and today I'm going to be reviewing Space Bust a Move on the Nintendo DS. Uh, it was developed and published by Taito, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, which is a Square Enix company, and was released late last year in July. Now, the two primary characters you saw on the cover of the game may look very familiar to those of you that, you know, grew up playing games on the NES, uh, because the two main characters are Bub and Bob from Bubble Bobble. Uh, now, the game, the gameplay in Space Bust Move in no way correlates to the gameplay from, gameplay from Bubble Bobble, but Bub and Bob still are the main playable characters in the story mode of the game. Now, the story of Space Bust Move is fairly generic. Um, basically, Bub and Bob are asked by a fellow character uh, known as Snown to travel to various planets in search of these things called Cosmo Bubbles. There are a total of seven worlds throughout the story, with each one featuring three mini-levels uh, within each world. And during each mini-level, it's your goal to collect these Cosmo Bubbles. And uh, in order to collect them, you basically burst the other bubbles surrounding uh, the Cosmo Bubble in the level. Uh, now, the overall g goal of every level uh, beyond collecting the Cosmo Bubble is fairly simplistic. Basically, you match three of the bubbles of the same color or design, and that basically pops the bubble um, automatically after you shoot the bubble from your little aimer. Now there are of course shortcuts and power-ups that enable you to finish levels more quickly, but this only adds the fun factor and overall experience of the game in my opinion. After completing the three mini-levels on each planet, uh, you battle a boss. This is typically a battle of who can survive the longest while being bombarded with your opponent's power-up attacks. Uh, I found the boss battles pretty challenging, um, but not too difficult, but basically you receive these power-up attacks by popping particular bubbles that appear on the screen, and uh, once you acquire these power-ups, you can activate it by pressing X, and this usually either slows your opponent down or gives you some kind of an advantage. So the story, the overall story of the game is uh, pretty enjoyable in my opinion. It didn't feel too repetitive at all. Um, it's definitely one of those games that you tell yourself you're going to put it down in about five minutes, but you end up turning off your DS like an hour later. Uh, I found myself doing that a lot. It's just such a great game. Uh, you know, very unique art style, uh, enjoyable music, kind of like arcade style. I just really enjoyed it. You know, the game also perfectly implements a level of challenge that can be dealt with by virtually all DS owners. Uh, definitely no age group that I think this game pertains to. Um, adults, I think, would enjoy this game as well. It's just a very fun uh, game that I think everyone enjoys, would enjoy. Uh, the great thing about all this, while single player is actually not the only thing the game has to offer, you're also able to play up to, with up to three friends via online uh, Wi-Fi, or you can use single card or download play. And there are also a bundle of other things that you can do in the single player modes. There's a challenge mode where you can try and beat your high score in either three to five minute time frames. Uh, there's also an endless mode where you attempt to just burst bubbles as long as you can. There's also one other mode on the single player uh, that's called Versus Mode, where you can choose any of the eight playable characters and attempt to battle the other seven characters non-stop. Uh, I have done that once, and it didn't take too long, but um, it's definitely probably my least favorite of the different modes, just because um, that did seem to get kind of repetitive, because you are doing... Uh, virtually the same thing, and the challenge of the bosses doesn't get steadily uh, harder. It's, you know, the same challenge for each boss. So, um, that's probably my least favorite of the different modes. But, uh, in my opinion, this game is definitely seemed to be overlooked because, you know, I've seen several DS collections here on YouTube throughout the gaming community, and uh, this is not one of the games that I've seen in anybody's collection. And to be quite honest, you know, I had no intention of buying the game either, but um, it was a complete buy and buy to be honest. And I saw it was cheap, and I saw it was by a Square Enix company, and you know, Square Enix is one of my favorite game developers and publishers. So I figured I'd give it a try. You know, um, you can probably get it at your local retailers or online on Amazon for less than 20 bucks. So I definitely recommend getting it. I mean, if you enjoy colorful arcade-style games with a fun story unique level designs, etc. Just go check it out, because it's really cheap, and, uh, you know, I'm still having a blast with it.
So guys, I'd like to thank you for watching my review of Space Bust a Move for the Nintendo DS. Like I said, I strongly encourage you guys to check this game out. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I'm in no way finished with the game. It just has so much to offer, and I'm really enjoying it. So, if you have any questions, please comment below or PM me. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I will see you later.